to you. Good to see everyone today. We've got a good crowd out there this morning, and we welcome you. If you're visiting with us, you're certainly our special guest, and we're glad that you've come this morning to worship with us at Poplar Grove uh, Baptist Church. God is blessing this ministry in a wonderful way, and uh, for that, uh, we are certainly grateful. August is here now, so maybe it'll warm up some. Uh, I'm afraid it will, but... Uh, Anyway, the, the nights are getting pretty, and the early mornings are uh, kind of reminds you a little bit about fall, which is right around the corner. So we're glad that you've come this morning to worship with us, and uh, we want you to join in on all that we do, because it indeed it's a time that, that we experience God, and that's what we want to do today. All right, Chad's going to come now and lead us in uh, congregational singing. <laughs> Just over in the glory land, 
there with the mighty host I'll stand just over in the glory land. Thank you, Chad, musicians. I want to share with you some uh, prayer requests, some folks we need to certainly lift up in our prayers. Uh, Glenn Baker, continue remember Glenn if you would as he goes through his time of treatment as well as Dwight Barnett. Remember uh, Dwight when you pray and let's get him through all this stuff and, and have clear days ahead is what we're praying for. Frank Burke, continue remember him, uh, Arbel Chadwell. Uh, and sometimes you get a chance, send Arbel a card. His address is in our church directory and, and he would certainly appreciate that as well as these others. So you always appreciate that. Remember Phyllis Duggar, she's got some health issues now that she's dealing with and she'll be going for surgery uh, later on this month, about the 20th, so let's pray that they can take care of Phyllis' problem and get her uh, straightened out. Velma Durham, we need to uh, remember her in our prayers. Um, Pat Fox, continue to lift her up as well. Remember Wayne Hobbs, if you would. Uh, Wayne Hobbs is uh, just going through some health issues now and remember he and... Uh, and, uh, and Miss, uh, Miss Janice as well. Uh, Dorothy Goad, I uh, spoke with her grandson yesterday, and he is, uh, she is in the uh, Laurel Heights uh, health care facility. And so remember Dorothy Goad, if you would, when you pray. Veda Gross, Marva's mom, remember her. Marie Gregory will be having surgery on the 21st, so we certainly uh, need to remember her. Uh, Dave Hyatt, remember Dave, and remember, remember Miss Jean as well as she is uh, uh, dealing with some uh, surgery uh, in the days ahead. So you remember Miss Jean when you pray. Uh, Linda Johnson, continue to lift her up. Joe Kilgore, remember Joe and Charlotte both in your prayers. Al Killian, uh, good to see Al out there. Remember uh, Al when you pray, and let's pray for a good, clean report again. Uh, Carol Linhart, continue to lift her up. Uh, Jane Maseko uh, has been in the hospital. She's out back home now. Uh, they have a plan for her for some treatments, and so let's pray that uh, they can get her uh, health restored and get it back to where it once was. Lois Faulkner in the local hospital. Let's remember Miss Lois, if you would, uh, uh, in your prayer. Jean Mahoney, uh, Paul's wife, remember her. Uh, Jennifer McDaniels, uh, Annabelle McQueen, Sarah Medlin, uh, Carol Medlin's granddaughter is doing good now after her surgery, and we certainly rejoice with that. Tammy Middleton, Ms. Pat Wilson's daughter, uh, had her second surgery, and let's pray for uh, full recovery for her and have a good days ahead. She will be in rehab for a while. Bonnie Mills, I spoke with Miss Bonnie the other day, and she asked that I remember not only her, but her family as well uh, in our prayers. Shirley Nance has had her surgery. And uh, she's recovering nicely from that, and we, uh, we're certainly glad. Paul Norville, remember Paul Norville, if you would. And let's pray for those who look at his health needs and they can pinpoint all this and, and get his needs taken care of. Sharon Perry, remember Sharon, if you would, John Rowley. Of course, Ron Reeves and Miss Norma, uh, I, I, like you, I, I pray for them every single day, and that's, that's what we're to do. Uh, April Shelton, this is Sharon Snyder's daughter, had surgery this past week, and uh, she is recovering nicely from that, and, and we're certainly glad of that. John Smith, remember John Smith in your prayers. Uh, Margie, uh, Marge Weatherill, Chad's mom, doing good after her surgery. Uh, remember uh, Betty Ward and Bob Ward both. Bob had some surgery, so let's remember he, Bob in our prayers. Dennis White. Our health care providers, we certainly need to remember them, and all those who work in the hospitals and doctor's offices and, and health care facilities. Uh, a lot of folks we need to certainly remember as they're out there uh, in harm's way. Uh, Betty Parton, I'm not sure where Betty Parton is right now. Uh, I spoke with her this past week, and she was to go to someone's house uh, in Lily, and she told me she would she will call me and let me know where that is. As soon as I found, find out, I will uh, I'll put it on our uh, email and let you know where she is so you can uh, send her a card as well. So remember Miss Betty, she had her surgery, and uh, so uh, let's pray that everything works well uh, for her. As a church family, we need to uh, remember uh, 
Amanda Stone, some of you know Amanda and Mike Stone, uh, with the passing of their mother. I'll be doing that funeral this coming Saturday for, for her. And also remember Johnny Eaton. His uh, funeral service was yesterday, a cousin of mine uh, who stepped out into eternity uh, way too soon. So we have a lot of folks on our prayer ministry, a lot of folks we need to remember, a lot more names on here, and God knows every name, every need. And so uh, we just trust these, uh, trust these names and needs into his care. Uh, also remember Willa, uh, Mina uh, Willis. Uh, she had her hip surgery, and she's recovering uh, good from that. And so uh, we certainly rejoice with that. All right, let's take these needs before the Lord as we pray. And also remember the Houston family, uh, Pastor Jeff, uh, with his uh, passing, and also the Lynn Harmon family, who certainly need our prayers. All right, Father, we thank you for this time together today, and we just thank you uh, that we can pause in this service today and, and just reflect on your glory. Father, what a, what a wonderful God you are. And we thank you and we praise you for that. So we come today to worship you, the true and the living God, and to experience a little glory even on this earth as we have this time of worship together. Father, we thank you for these who have come today to share in song. And we just pray that, uh, that you'll empower them, fill them with the Holy Spirit and as they, uh, as they lift up these beautiful songs to you, uh, and, and it'll draw us closer to you. So we, we thank you for that. And so now, Lord, we pause to lift up all these needs to you, uh, a lot more people on our prayer ministry, and we know that you know every need, you know every concern, and we know that you're the great physician, and you're the God of all comfort, you're the great healer. So we come trusting these folks into your care. We thank you for wisdom that you give to... Uh, these people who look after our needs and thank you for what's available today that they can run tests and do all these things and kind of pinpoint stuff and and so we give you all the glory and the praise for that because you give wisdom to them so we thank you for technology that we can come today and be able to broadcast this on the, into our church parking lot and and we just thank you for the land we have next door that's uh, that you knew what we needed and we thank you and Praise you for that because it's enabled us to have these drive-in services like we're having that are so effective. They are just working. You're adding to the church. You're the one that adds to the church. And, Lord, you've added a bunch to the church. We've got several for baptism and others for membership. And so we just, uh, we glory in that. We can't thank you enough for that because we give you all the praise and the glory and honor for that. Lord, I pray for these families who are lost loved ones. I know there's some people today whose hearts are heavy with the passing of someone they love so much. But Father, may we always be reminded to be absent from the body is to be in the very presence of the Lord for the born-again believer. So that's our hope. That's the hope that we have, that one day that we'll be together once again in glory for all eternity. We thank you for making that possible for us. So I thank you for everyone that's gathered here today, all those who are listening to my voice and those that will be tuning in on the Internet later on today to... Uh, to watch this message and to watch of our worship time together. And I pray there in their home that they'll be able to worship with us and we'll point them toward the living, risen Savior. I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Jasper Wall and walk by the crystal sea. I've known in my heart for a long time I'm not where I belong. What a joyful morning when I get home. What a joyful morning When my new home I see I'll lay my burdens down Trade my cross for a crown And lay them at His feet I'll see friends and loved ones Oh, I've waited so long 
Joyful. 